everyone. Welcome to The Unemployed Millionaire Show. This is Matt Morris and welcome back to episode number three in our closing series. Today, I'm gonna go through a specific way to handle the money objection. So this will be a quick one. So you've presented your business and someone says, you know, it's great, but I don't have the money. And so we're gonna go back to what I talked about on the last episode. Um, you know what, I hear exactly what you're saying, but tell me this, be honest with me. Is it really that you don't have the money or is that just your polite way of saying no? Okay, they're gonna say, in most cases, they're gonna say, no, I just, I don't have the money. I'm gonna then say, well, tell me this, do you want to do this? I'm just gonna wait. If they don't wanna do it, I'm gonna go find someone who does want to do it. So what I'm looking for is them to start selling me. So he says, no, I do. And I say, well, are you sure? Do you really wanna do this? Do you wanna make this work for you? I'm gonna have them tell me a second time, yes, I do. So again, I've gotten them to convince me twice that they wanna do it. And so there's a lot of different things that you can say with the, I don't have the money. I'm gonna give you just a couple here and we'll do more in future episodes. So uh, here's one that um, I use quite a bit. It's uh, you gotta have a, a bit of posture to uh, do this. I'm gonna encourage you to kind of step through your uh, uh, fear zone, uh, step out of your comfort zone and uh, have a little more posture than you normally would. And so if I'm sitting there, let's say I'm talking to Sally and Sally says, I don't have the money. I'm gonna say, all right, I, you know, we go through that. I get her to tell me she wants to do it. And I believe her. And so I said, well, tell me this, who do you love the most in your life? See, she's expecting me to just jump in. I'm just being a consultant here. I'm gonna say, who do you love the most in your life? Maybe, you know, your mom or your husband. Who do you love the most? Who do you really care about? And I make her tell me, so her mom. I say, okay, well, let's say your mom, she gets thrown in jail today, obviously for a crime she didn't commit, but your mom gets thrown in jail. Bail money is however much it costs to join your opportunity. Let's say it costs $500. And bail money costs $500 to get her out. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna let your mom spend the night in jail all night with a bunch of other criminals or are you gonna come up with $500 and bail her out? I'm just gonna pause and wait for an answer. And what do you think they say almost every time is, I'm gonna bail my mom out. Great, I say awesome. Well, here's my advice to you. It, so you can obviously come up with the money because you could come up with the money for your mom. Come up with the money, let's get you started here. Let's get you earning some money and let's get you out of financial jail because that's really what you're in. And just pause, let that sink in. I had this, I, it was just about a month ago. I did that with a young guy and when I did that with him, he literally, he went like this, like I had just hit him. And he paused and he said, you know what, you're right. He came up with the money and you know, he, he got started within a few, uh, within his first week, he enrolled about four people. So that works. You need to be a little bit aggressive. You gotta be a little powerful with it, but that's a great uh, way to handle that one. I'll give you one more here is someone says, I don't have the money. Say, you know what, I hear what you're saying. Polite way, is that your polite way of saying no? Do you really wanna do it? Yes, are you sure? Do you really wanna do this? Yes, awesome. Well, let me ask you this. If I could sell you a brand new Ferrari, $150,000 Ferrari for $500, but you had to come up with the money in the next 24 hours, would you, would you buy the Ferrari? Can you pause and wait for an answer? What are they gonna say? Every time, unless they're lying, they're gonna say, I would come up with the $500. And so then you say, you know what? So obviously you can come up with the money. So let's, uh, let's help you. What do we need to do for you to come up with the money in the next 24 hours? Because we wanna get you into a situation where you become financially free and you can one day buy that Ferrari. So how can we come up with the money? And you're just being a consultant and you're helping them figure out a way to come up with the money. So hope that helps. If you got another question for me, shoot me an email to askmatt at mattmorris.com. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and hop over to mattmorris.com, put in your name and email address for my seven secrets to seven figures course. You will definitely uh, get a ton of value from that. And we will be back on the next episode to handle the next objection. Until then, make life an adventure.